You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. You're both really... really yeah. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my there lord. There can Let only be, on be one. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. I I already promised him. <laughs> They're both looking at each other when they look away. Look, Duncan's gonna look. Oh, no, he's done. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. No, That's there's no... Suicide. Yeah, I know. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Let Sir Roiland speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say, Sir Roiland. No, no. You chose your Sentinel. Oh, come on, you asshole. On Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Yeah, Diplomacy he's right. can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. Oh God, that was a lot of pressure on me. I don't doubt Up she did you. everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. I don't it's like that. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will bargain. We will use diplomacy. We have to. I mean, but the tr the thing is, is that the last time Ramsey tried to freaking fuck, or use diplomacy, he freaking took Theon and made him reek. Has to be the bargain. There's no way we can fight. That's suicide. We have to bargain. The Maester and she, my my mother, Lady Forrester, is right. Maester Ortengrin has swayed me. We will offer the Boltons a share of the ironwood, and we will promise our people to harvest it, thus securing their safety. As Sentinel and Castellan, I must warn against this. You may do this for some gain now, but in the end, it will starve this house. If we don't... There may be no house forester at all. Yeah. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Yeah, so be ready. But Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. We could offer okay. him the ironwood in the courtyard. My lord, no. making this kind of offer yeah. outright may simply embolden Ramsay. There could be trouble, and all the house will be there to see it. Meet him in the hall. It will be more private, and he will not have an audience to play against you. Yeah. Lord Ethan? No, don't make him wait at the freaking gates. That's terrible. He'll be like, what a lovely sack of oak you have there, or whatever you said in the trailer. So we have to invite him in the Great Hall. But then that means the White Hills are coming. 
So fuck. God damn it. This is so hard. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Good. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall. And we will offer the Ironwood, providing a safe future for this house. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Scrub the floors clean. We need Mary Poppins. Or, you know. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. Yeah. There will he's always be those who question your leadership. Yeah, he's... Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Yes. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but... I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No. Yeah. But you need someone who is standing beside you. Yeah, you need to go get him. It might take a fucking long time. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. But his actions Ethan, could get us... let me send Malcolm to Essos. Yeah. It's the right choice. It is. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. And as Royland said, I am definitely not ready to lead the house. No, Thank there's you, no way. Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. But I just now f thought, if Mira, if Ramsey actually just comes in and decides to just say, give it to White Hills. Shit. <laughs> right click to back out. Okay. This is the wedding. Okay, there's that. Okay. That's cool. Pick up. Yeah. Strange key might come in handy later. You know, the walking dead. I mean, if someone asks for it, here you go. But. Oh, wait. Could that be? Examine. What is that? Is that a stamp? Oh, it's a seal. Okay. Marjorie? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm Lady very Marjorie sorry. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. But, I mean... Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years. We are friends. And yet friends. to be treated like that. We are friends, Sarah. 
Truly, friends trust one another. Mm. They don't hold secrets. I'm. You are now trying Lady Marjorie way thinks you don't too trust hard. Me, and she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... You're fucked! My lady, I'll leave you to talk. <laughs> She'd probably just say that. Are you alright, my lady? Oh no. Oh no, it didn't work. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. God. Understand, Generous. it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. So. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Okay. My lady. Oh, it's that guy again. Who is this? Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. Um... Who is this? I just want you to know I I can help you if you'd like and your family. This if is you're a willing bird. to trust me. No. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, my lady. You need allies. I'm sorry. I I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who People would be willing to help you. It's a trap. It's a trap. I'm saying this right now. It's a trap. Who is that? That's the same guy who stared at me. Oh, he's gonna try to rape me later in the story. I'm telling you. What's gonna happen? Now what, is Garrett just gonna reach the wall or? Oh, Where's no. Sir Roiland? He should be here. Are you Are the you man kidding values me? pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Yeah, I can't show any waiver of anything or whatever. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roose Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Thank you, that... That's enough. So yeah, he doesn't even like them at all. He doesn't like him, my bad. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Ha, <laughs> so he's pissed. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token. 
for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this. Yeah. It seems the foresters have a talent for something after all. Lord Ramsay, we have another gift we'd like to offer to you. There are several ironwood groves along the borders of our land, all producing tall, strong trees. We'd like to give them to you in tribute. To me? That's very kind of you. Thank you. Look at that. More forester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. Come on, Ryan. Do it. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Okay. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? It's harder than you could ever this know. I don't care about your loyalty. And I care even less about a bunch of trees on some far off hill. Yeah, see, that's my problem. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? Absolutely not. That wouldn't not. reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. Oh, shit. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Yeah. We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Tellers have no such craftsmen. Do you That's want true. Ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little yeah. one does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your Ironwood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord, half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. And that bastard's with him, isn't he? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. 
Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Are you kidding me? This again, Ramsay? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the queen <laughs> and her brother. Yeah. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You come with me. You can be my oh highborn ward. No. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? No. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We'd get along well. <laughs> I suppose you can stay. <sighs> oh my god. That was Aren't way you the bold lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> what have you done? But no. I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No, 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 no! Even though you did bend the knee. I, I think we've come to an understanding. Lord Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. He's what have you done? However, Come on. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy of your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Catch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Please, stop! Don't let, let him go! Let it go! Stop it! Help me! Ryan! Stop it! Let me go! Ryan! Do something! Ethan? Oh, my son. Only more reason to fucking hate Ramsay. Oh my god! Uh. Could he have survived? I want to know. If he couldn't have, then I'll feel much Ethan better about this. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. Oh, shit. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Hey, those who John will Snow. not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Oh my god. Yeah, we had to. Um, really? Only 24%? Huh. Yeah, I was in the right on that. But I don't I don't like my choice anymore. Royland was the better choice after this incident. Where is Royland? See, he's probably dead. He doesn't even have a beard in that, that one. But Oh, my God. If I chose to meet him by the gates... Does Ethan live? I want to know. Oh my god. This is like... I have so... Mm, I have so many... Just... Mixed emotions. Over this. 
Oh my god. First off, the first scene, I just about... I just about lost it. Because... Like, when I was reading that in the books, when I was watching it in the show, it was almost too hard to watch. Because... I actually like the character so much. So, um... Even with this, I mean... Everyone's the same. Everything, all the same voices, all that. Um, it's very good. Holy crap, I can't wait for five more episodes or six. They, I mean, two hours worth of gameplay. Um, holy crap, Telltale's done it again. I mean, first with The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us. Season two, I thought was even better than season one. Tales from the Borderlands is amazing, and now this. And I think this is my favorite one out of all of them. It's so hard because they're all so good, but... I will be doing a full thing on this, so... Stay tuned for that. Oh my gosh, and... I guess... I don't know! I can't even, like, process what just happened. I mean, yeah, Ethan was awesome, and I really am sad, but, I mean, come on. I didn't have enough character development for him, so keep swinging. I'll see you next time.